Hey everybody, this is the Mud Guy RC. I'm the Mud Guy. I'm the bear. And Bear's not feeling too well today. Can but, you tell? Uh, but I had to get her down here today because we did get, we finally got the dingo kit in the mail and uh, I need her to open, break the seals, open the box so I can get uh, started working on it. I know we originally talked about the, um, doing the dingo kit in February and February is almost at an end. Uh, we had a little bit of a, a little bit of a holdup because uh, I haven't had a, a decent night's sleep since the uh, the King of Hammers. I got Bear to watch the King of Hammers this year. I did. And uh, I said to her, I was like, well, how about instead of the, the, the dingo kit, we get something more Ultra 4 looking. So She has been braining. Let's just call it braining. Braining, yes. On this. Staying awake, staring at the ceiling, and uh, just thinking of... Are you sure you want the dingo, Bear? <laughs> Bear, are you sure you want the dingo? Bear, are you sure you wouldn't rather have the wraith? Bear. Yeah. Bear, are you sure you want the dingo? Yep. And, and I... <laughs> So, peer pressure. But anyway, in the end, I decided, well, you know, for, for the bear, I, you know, I, I didn't want to bully her into something. She liked the dingo. I've never built an SEX-10, uh, so I kind of thought that would be cool for me. And I do have an idea for the bear, and I haven't told you about this yet. What's my idea? I have so idea? much stuff left over from the Wraith, the, the uh, Project Aries, that I think we're going to build another Wraith. And uh, what I would like, and, and I, have, I have two reasons to do it. Number one, because I want you to have access to a wraith we're not gonna we're not gonna bind this to my 4pl or it's gonna or the, the other wraith the other wraith. we're gonna have a it's gonna have its own remote and uh i don't know how we're gonna set it up it'll probably be pretty similar to this wraith uh, and that way i'll have number one i'll have bear bear will have uh, access to a wraith and then i will also have a backup if i decide to go out you know uh with a bunch of guys or something like that if one's uh, good two yeah is yeah two is better because i don't like to do field repairs that kind of stresses me so it would be cool just to have <laughs> it, it does and you take all the kids out and they all start breaking things and it's it's your day of fun turns into crap so i'd rather go out with two race than to take a whole bunch of uh support parts and stuff like that so we're going to build another wraith and we are going to build her what she wanted which was the dingo kit uh, so, but we're going to unbox this at the end of the video. I don't know. What was our water bear of, of our, I well, kind of. Well, first we needed to say hi to everybody. Oh, hi. Hey, well, welcome everybody. All the, uh, the new subscribers and viewers. Uh, we've passed the 20, 2,500 mark. 2,500. 2,500 mark. So we're growing. 2,500 plus. 2, plus. And, uh, so welcome to all you guys. It's been a while since we've done a video, but there's not a whole lot of activity going on. It's so cold. Yes. I, I get requests to do track videos and the track is under about two feet of snow. I can't so. even see the track. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen the track since November. So <laughs> no, it hasn't been that I'm, it's, it's been a bad winter. We've had a lot of snow, uh, but it's kind of cool because we've, we've had a lot of time to do some, uh, do some projects uh, and win some contests. So this is my new t-shirt from Everyday RC that I, I, I won in his contest. I think there was three winners. Yeah, I'm on a roll. It was very Supermanish. Can you do? Yeah, that yes. <laughs> Everyday RC. Da -da -da. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I'm on a roll, and, and I want to know if you guys know of any contests where people are giving away cars or parts or T-shirts or anything <laughs> like that. Comment below. I want to win it all. But anyway, so this is Every Everyday RC. He's he's a channel. Uh, uh, he has a channel. This it's called Everyday RC. Uh, he's he's East Coast guy like us, not quite like us. He's a New Yorker. So, you know, the difference between us and New Yorkers is like the difference between, I don't know, Martians and Venetians. <laughs> but oh, he's, he's still, on. no, I mean, hey, New York is like its own little universe. It is. You guys, but, you, uh, you are. Yeah, I, I, I Google Earthed his house. <laughs> and he lives on Long Island, and it's nice. He's not too far from the beach. So, pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh, Ho hopefully, hello, stalker. I'm stalking you every day, RC. Sorry. Uh, but anyway, let's I'll talk. keep him under control. Let's talk about his channel. No, I won't drop in on you. Maybe sometime we'll come up and, and bash no, with you, but... Not no, I won't drop in on I, your house. Well, I'll keep him under control. So hopefully you're doing hopefully you're doing well with the, the the weather up there. And I know he's he's probably getting affected. Well, he's the, probably getting worse than we are. Yeah, yeah. Age. Oh God, yeah. I mean, it's just it's been a brutal winter. But anyway, let's talk about Everyday RC's channel. Uh, he's got he runs a good show. Very nice guy. Very super friendly. Uh, I've just recently now I don't know if he's put videos. He's, he's a basher. But he has, and he does do upgrade videos. Now he's putting himself in the videos, which is kind of cool. And you get to see his uh, all his RCs in the back, which I like that. I like when the guys host their own shows and it's more personal. And you get to see who you're talking to or who's talking to you. And uh, how I kind of hooked up with him, I don't remember exactly. I think it was maybe through Vasco or something. It was the Team Associated Rival, which has connected me to so many people. Uh, yeah, let's get, the, let's get the Rival out. Well, we, haven't, we haven't showed this truck off in a long time. But anyway, I had met so many friends, <laughs> and and it had so much see me. 
had so much talk from other I'm YouTube YouTube channels <laughs> over this truck right here. So this is our rival. And you know what I was thinking, Bear? What, babe? This would probably be a good truck for the snow. We just haven't really had it out a lot lately. But uh, mm -hmm. so anyway, yeah. So this is kind of how I met Everyday RC. Was was he, he loves his rival. Uh, I think I met him through Voss, who has. So it's like a, a little rival chain of friends. So, but he has a great channel. He does good, cool, uh, cool bash videos, uh, and, and he does some upgrade stuff. Uh, check him out. You know, you know, sub to him, give him some support. He has content. Well, I, he had one contest so far, uh, but there's lots of stuff to, on, on his channel. Good, good stuff. So anyway, everyday RC. Thank you for for the T-shirt. We'll be showing this in videos from time to time. It's nice. I have more uh, RC. Uh, RC accoutrements now that I can wear on the uh, on, on the show. Accoutrements. Accoutrements. So. Well, that's a word and a half. Thank you, everyday RC. Thank now, you. What uh, what do we want to talk about next? Oh, uh, the rate here. Let's get the. You did something to the shocks. I did. I I lowered I lowered the wraith. Uh, I I I wanted well, to. I think the hood lies better. Well, no. This was this this I had fixed because I basically oh I do have uh, shock relocators in here, but I cut them down right at the level of uh, where the hood falls down there. But I, I wasn't able to get the uh, low center of gravity that I wanted with the uh, the stock shocks right here. These, uh, I think there's like 100, 100 millimeters, 105, something like that. So I went with uh, new shocks. What uh, are they called? G-Made piggyback shocks. Uh, really? My first experience with G-Made. Yeah, uh, I, I know there's a lot of guys out there that have like a love-hate relationship with, with G-Made. Uh, but from what I read, the quality of the XD is better the xd shock the, the these are uh g made xd piggyback shocks is a lot better than their previous shocks i i enjoyed building them uh they had, they came with instructions which was great you know i get a lot of shocks that you just kind of have to guess how they go together the instructions are awesome they went together really nice well, what's this on the back this right here this is the piggyback right here bear so let's see if and what that is is it's like a little uh i, I don't know how to describe it it gives a place for the oil when this compresses to uh, push out through into up through here into this section here, and you can adjust the PSI. You don't have to switch your your oils around or anything like that through a screw in the bottom. So you turn the screw tighter, and it makes the uh, the dampening it makes it stiffens it up basically. Well, that makes sense. And yeah, and it's, so it's really cool. So you can kind of tune it while you're out. Uh, I did go low. I went 85 millimeters uh, when I was online. I was reading about guys that like to lower their race, and they go around 93 millimeters or whatever. Screw it. I went 85. Because uh, he's a rebel. Because I'm a rebel. I wanted it low. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. I had to buck the system. So I went. I went low. And uh, it's pretty. My my reason. Yeah. And I thought. I thought the wraith would look good with piggyback shocks. When we were watching the King of Hammers, I noticed the shocks are really kind of, you know, all over the place. They're they're different than any other shocks. That I've was seen. a really good show. It's it's a well, race. Well, it wasn't a show. Oh, it's, it was, it was a, a live it was a live race in and, California. And, and it's freaking awesome. We had awesome. to watch it. We couldn't. We had to watch it on the computer. Yeah, yeah, because it was it was through uh, Ultra Four uh, Racing dot com, and uh, yeah, you had to, you had to stream it. So I I got to watch a little bit of it on my phone. And then I came down here and watched some on the computer while I was working on the race. And then Bear and I watched it uh, the whole night it, in the late stages. Yeah, on the on the iPad. So it was really cool. But yeah, since then I haven't had a. A good night's sleep. But one thing I noticed about uh, Ultra Four cars Sorry, hey, is you don't when when they're doing their crawling, it's not the kind of crazy articulated mechanical crawling that you you know that that, that I would think of when you think of a truck like an AX10 or some kind of rock crawler. They're more or less skipping over the rocks. You know, it's not so much uh, technical crawling. Face. Yeah, wah, wah, wah. and. You know, I, I think one thing that would come, and that's kind of what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to go on trails, and we're going to go up hills. And I think instead of having all kinds of crazy shock articulation, I'd rather have this thing low. So when we're up going up on an angle and gunning it, I'm not constantly flipping back, you know. So anyway, we'll try it out. It's it's low. It's it's low, and it's cool. And I also got a new uh, Intigy bumper on the front here. I, I, I kind of like this. I know that's Intigy is another company that guys either love to hate or hate to love. And uh, one of the reasons I like this bumper was because this bottom piece here, which was the, uh, the they, they had a bar that came across the uh, the bottom here, was removable. So that that's that space for my oh. my server to go up in there. So yeah, and it I, fits nicely. Yep, yeah, and it's red. It's red. So and it wouldn't have fit if you hadn't been able to nope. take that bar off. Nope. 
so that's the uh, the other plastic one. I actually had it extended, and I had a little bit of the uh, the back of that bar shaved Semi -brilliant, off. Semi-brilliant, honey. Yeah, yeah. So it wasn't just a, a spur of the moment thing. I actually looked at it and I thought about it. And I'm not going to do lights there anyway. If I do lights, they'll be up top here. And uh, it also had areas that you can put tow hooks on and stuff like that, which that's not important to me right now. So I just thought I'd remove it, and then I'd have that clearance there. And it's red, and it's aluminum. And I think it's kind of cool. So that's what we've been doing to the Wraith. And uh, it's more of a crimson red than a tomato. Red. I know, I know. And that's the thing. It's like, it was, I, I think it's more like a candy. Yeah. It's like a candy red. So I'm thinking yeah. someday if, if all these pieces I get, because the G-Made shocks have that color in them it's, too. It's actually, quite frankly, cherries in the snow. Yeah, so Marilyn it's not... It's not <laughs> lipstick color. And it's not... Not that you need to know that. Um, <laughs> so it's, it, yeah, it's not a complete match, but, uh, you know, I can do different panels in the future. Uh so anyway, yeah, we're we're gonna keep working on the wraith. Just because Project Ares is over, that doesn't mean we're done uh, doesn't upgrading. Doesn't mean his brain stops. Yes, yes. So and the more we, we upgrade on this, the more parts we have for the other wraith build, which is in the future. Uh, but in the meantime, let's get to the uh, the dingo. So All right, how do you suggest I attack? This? Well, well, there, you're gonna have seals that are gonna be right here. Okay. Did you bring me a knife, darling? Yep. Be oh, careful. Lord. That's the sharp end. No, it's not very sharp. That's the sharp end, and uh, that's the safe end, you, okay? You, all right. So, yes, yeah, so I trust her with sharp objects. And just go ahead. Now, Bear is going to break the official Axial Seals. I'm excited. Yeah, it's, this is an SEX-10. -E it's now a, what? And then just kind of... There you go. Now, it's good. You flip it over. Are there any more seals? No, you're good. Just open it up now. It's just like a, a donut box. And there we go. Don't talk about food. Right I don't. I don't. <laughs> Bear is really not feeling too well today. So those are your wheels. Oh. And uh, this is what. Do you I, this want me is... to start opening? Things? No, 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 no. I just wanted you. Basically, we have to get her to prove to you guys that she opened this kit up, what? so what? I can start What's working on it. What's that? Oh, uh, but some kind of Lexan body. Show the tires. The oh. tires are cool. Here's the body. That's a hold, lot. Of... Hold, hold the tires. Okay. Hold the tires up. Yeah, look at that. See, this They're is sparkly. Uh, yeah. Well, they they have some kind of I don't know is that a release agent or something on They're there? They're sparkly. But now, and they have the foam. Project Lizzie has sparkly tires. The, fo <laughs> the foam. They already have the foam inside there, so that's kind of cool. But now here, let's let's. I want to teach you something. There's this nothing is in there. This is a one one point nine size wheel, uh, as compared to. The 2.2. So you see the difference? Oh, big difference. Yep. And this would actually be considered more scale than this. These these are for for this type. No, of... No, but no, because we were watching that 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 show. Those yeah, but... tires were immense. No, they they really weren't. That's that's what I'm trying to say. Oh. This this is more of, of a scale type really? crawler. Yeah. Than than the Wraith. The Wraith kind of has its own look. It's supposed to kind of be like Ultra Four, but no. This this would be more scale to a vehicle like that. So this is going to be cool. We're going to try to. Is that to... okay that those tires have a big bump in them? No, they're, you're fine. You're fine. We're going to put we're okay. going to put uh, some rims on here. Anyway, this 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 kit will be built stock uh, except for beadlock rims. That's the only thing that I want to. I don't want to glue these onto plastic wheels. I just don't want to do that. I, I think I think we're far enough in the game now. We don't ever have to use uh, tire glue again. So. Yay! Are you, are, you, are you fascinated, Bear? Um, I wouldn't go all the way to fascinated. Are you, are you going to join me at, for some parts of this build? Well, no, I asked you if you were going to make me... No, you're not going to build it, but I'm just saying, are you going to stop in and say hi and oh, see I how it's going? Oh, I want to know how she's and, going, sure. Yeah. I don't think we're going to do a build series on this. I was thinking what we should do well, is... Well, why not? Well, I'll just, do, I'll just do parts of the build, kind of like a build series, but I figure we'll just throw them in like a clip, like bench time with a bear, you know what I mean? And, and And, uh... You know, which is, but it's not going to be like a step by step build or anything like that. I'm kind of getting away from that because it's not as much fun to, to Ooh, there's my bumpers. build the stuff. And yeah, there's your bumpers. So, what do you think? Is it going to be fun? I think it's What color are you going to paint it? Well, now I, I got to tell you, I really like the orange. I mean, that's kind of why I. Yeah, yeah, but that's, that's what they want you to paint it. I know, but I really like it. <laughs> and it has to be that special to me to paint the polycarbonate paint. Uh, so, so we're what gonna, are my choices then? Well, I, I'm going to have to bring up that chart. And then, of course, you know, if we're going to buy it at the hobby store, they have to have it in stock. Or we order it, and it'll take forever to get well, here. Well, if we order it now, it will but, be here yeah, the, then. Yeah, but then there's also the issue of, of painting outside. But think about it. Think about it. And if you guys have any suggestions of what color bear should, should paint this, uh, well, put I mean, them below. But now you got to think. This is the Land Rover. I, you don't, you don't want to paint it like... Uh, I'm also leaning towards a really... 
not navy blue, but a deep blue. Well, that's one thing I was going to suggest, though, is that we stay away from colors that aren't really earthy. Oh. Because, well, well, I mean, you, you don't have to, but you wouldn't want to paint this yellow. You know what I mean? Because it's it's kind of a like a safari type vehicle. Well, now they actually make a, a light blue color for the uh, the, the Land Rover. Not that light I, blue, deep blue. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we'll I'll tell you what. We'll we'll look at the colors and we'll come up with something. And if you guys have suggestions, put it below. Uh, I would love to do it tan, but the problem is you paint the inside and then you have like a gloss tan, and I think that kind of ruins it. Uh, so I don't like gloss. Like a green, maybe a, a drab. Uh, Black would be okay, but black, a lot of guys do black. Uh, white, I don't know no. if there's white. White's a little too. Anyway, you give us your opinion. So where, where are we at in our schedule here today? That's it, we're, baby. We're just kind of, that That's was it. it. We covered everything? We covered everything. Yeah, so uh, we're coming up on our one-year anniversary Strange. of doing YouTube. Yeah, it is wow. It is freaky. I don't know how many uh, episodes we've had out. I lost track, but... Uh, and, and we're going to change our format around a little bit. I, I, I want to do more little tiny segments, all build it up into one big show that we try to do our best to release once a week. Uh, so, I don't know. It's just some some ideas I'm kind of playing around with. But we're still in this game, and you know we want to definitely have another really cool year. Mm -hmm. And I, it, I don't know if you guys can, can, I don't know if you guys can tell, but... We're definitely going the route of scaling rock racing, trail riding, and, and uh, <laughs> solid axle vehicles. So, uh, yeah, not so much short course this year. And we'll, we'll, we still have our bashers, but, yeah, you're going to see a lot more of a... Variety. No. Well, you're, it's different. Different. Different than, than what you've seen here in the past because the hobby's changing for me. And it's going to change for our kids, too, so stay tuned to that. They have birthdays coming up. and. Yes. Uh, I, you can only imagine what they're going to pick for their birthdays. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, Bear. So we're gonna we're gonna start on the dingo kit, right. and uh, Bear Bear will try to do her best to have her have input and. Good luck, MG. Yeah, good luck, good luck. So uh, thanks again to Everyday RC. Subscribe to his channel. That's the dingo kit. Stay tuned to more uh, upgrades with the, uh, the the wraith at Project Aries, and we're gonna start the other wraith as soon as we get this thing done. That's it. So thank you. If you're if you're on the East Coast, I hope you guys are surviving the snow. More this week. <laughs> yeah, more this week. Wonderful, wonderful. So uh, I'm the mud guy. I'm the bear. Take care. Now why did that give me a little battery warning? That had two thirds of a. How long did we talk for? Eighteen. Mm -hmm.